for the Rockford. Um, the river really is uh, our massive draw, particularly for our guests, because they can park the car up, they can stay two, three nights, however many nights they want, and they really don't have to get in their car again. Berlin has something different for everyone. You know, for a child it's mystical because you've got the waterfalls, you can imagine fairies dancing along there, you know, it's amazing. Then you've got your older guys that like to look at mushrooms, things like that. And for every individual, the Lynn has something quite magical, really. People take from it a memory that stays forever. We have people that come back that are visitors as children that are bringing their children and their grandchildren to sit with a pint at the side, watching the wildlife, watching the fishermen, watching the kids play in the river. It really is somewhere quite amazing. The River Lynn's got populations of brown trout, salmon and sea trout. Uh, they're very important to the local community and also to the ecology of the river itself. Um, the salmon and sea trout run the river between uh, April and October and they spawn in the headwaters where the quality of the water and the habitat is very good. We don't have significant populations of coarse fish. Uh, it's mainly salmonids and that's due to the nature of the rivers that we've got. They're very spaty, very flashy, cold, um, quite hostile environments very popular uh, with local anglers and visiting anglers alike. Every year we have people coming from all over the country to fish. I think that the value to the fishing rights for every fish caught is roughly around about £9,000. Um, that's how much each salmon caught adds to the value of the fishery itself. Um, in terms of the money which is brought into the local economy by having the salmon fishery here, we think that's just under £300,000 a year and that's money which goes to local businesses through people staying at hotels, using the pubs, garages, shops, visiting other local attractions whilst they're here. I consider the river to be a valuable asset because I see health benefits in three main areas. The three main areas that I would see um, health values would be on the mind, uh, with the body and on your general social well-being. If we look at the mind, we know people who are physically active and get out into the outdoors and enjoy the sights are much less likely to suffer from stress-related illnesses. They're going to be more relaxed, more happy. They are um, likely to be more productive in the classroom, more productive at work, um, and they're going to feel better in themselves with a greater sense of self-esteem and achieve more. From the physical point of view, I think people who um, are, are able to get out and enjoy the outdoor and, um, and take physical activities in beautiful spots like the river will have a greater level of fitness um, and their muscular abilities uh, and their heart um, and their lungs will be fitter as a result of it. And also their immune system gets a boost every time you take physical exercise and you're less likely to pick up minor illnesses such as coughs and colds through a degree of physical activity. Um, the other area, of course, is that human beings are social animals and enjoy being out with other people. They enjoy talking and experiencing nice things and will have a greater sense of positivity. They will have greater self-esteem. As a result of that, their lives will be more productive and more fulfilling. We stood on Black Pits, uh, the top of the catchment of the River Lynn. Uh, it's an important peatland habitat. I work on the Exmoor Myers project and the project is looking at restoring the peatland habitat uh, across uh, 2,000 hectares of Exmoor. The aim of doing the restoration is to um, bring back the hydrological function of the peatlands. Back in the 18th, 19th century, most of the moorland was drained by putting in drainage ditches. So we're going along and putting in peat and wooden blocks to block that, those ditches up and force the water out of those ditches and make it run across the surface of the land. The importance and the value to doing this work and bringing about the restoration of this peatland habitat is the improvements in water quality and water storage it will bring about it's returning the peatland into a carbon store 
and it's improving the habitat, so improving it for wildlife, for birds, for insects and for everyone to enjoy for the future. It's actually a way of life. When I was growing up here, um, one of my main interests was actually fishing. So every day when I come back from school, I'd help out a bit on the farm and then I'd come back and grab the fishing rod. And then during the summer, we used to actually um, run and jump into the river. So yeah, no, for me growing up, the river was actually quite important. We roughly keep around the kind of 2,000 mark on the sheep front and then on the cows, we kind of vary between around 100 mark. The rules and regulations are very uh, becoming stricter in the way that we're not actually allowed to let cows and things walk up to the riverbeds and drink now. All our troughs are um, fed by gravity and all that water is actually comes from the top of the hill where, um, where you've got your springs and things. You do have to be careful when, when we do have those flash floods that we're, we haven't got just been ploughing or um, been working the ground otherwise we lose all our topsoil which is very important to us. A great use of the river is that when it does flood that much, um, that the, when the rain comes down there's too much for the ground to absorb in on the, on the ground itself. It all comes down off the valleys. The river actually takes it all down to the sea. Well, occasionally I do work for photographs, but I do like to actually get out and sketch from life and actually have a look at the river moving and the, sort of the energy and life of the river because you can't get that from a photograph. The river in itself, it changes very much with the, the weather through the year and when it gets very low it gets much calmer but when you get a lot of rain and it gets high you get very dramatic uh, uh, movement in the water especially around the waterfalls and uh, that's very dramatic and exciting to, to paint for an artist. From an artist's point of view, trying to capture the movement and the lights of the river is, is a real challenge and uh, very inspiring. <laughs>